who wants to do do you want, do you want me to do the introductory? Yeah, in, do that introduction. You can do the word you just said. This has gone to my head, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the count. Every time I take a sip, it tastes different. <laughs> and on that <laughs> Just like Steven. Welcome to episode 11 of the Entertaining Dimension <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Where we drink toffee apple cider semen, apparently. <laughs> Didn't say it was semen, okay, go on. on Continue. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to keep that ball rolling. Uh, so, we have Matthew, as always. Well, not always. He's oh, been here occasionally. Yeah, don't don't commit him to things. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, insulted by the word occasionally. There's the, uh, Matthew Beasley, uh, Sean, and of course me, your graceful British person, Curtis, who's not really graceful or humble at all. You're or graceful. You're graceful. Can't, you can't are speak, graceful. Can't speak. Sound a little more speak. Scottish. I can't I speak. <laughs> Sean Connery is He's now. drunk <laughs> off of half a cider. <laughs> I don't handle alcohol very well. <laughs> Why is it that we always resort to either Palpatine or Sean Connery in legitimately everything we do? Because I don't think we've referenced Sean Connery. Mm, so many times. We I have definitely so have. many times. <laughs> The amount of times I've heard Red, Red October. Yeah, but that's when, that's when Kyle was on the podcast. <laughs> and me. You've only, you've only got to say it once and he's off on his little spiel. And he's bloody... You say it enough times in the mirror and he shows up. Who, hey, Kyle or Sean Connery? <laughs> They're some kind of sick hybrid of the both of them. Uh, don't put that on Sean Connery. <laughs> Someone deserves that. Sean no. Connery, no. No, well, he retired. He, he's dead in Indiana Jones. He Spoilers. retired after... Who was the one that died? That was Roger Moore. And apparently Thank I you. killed him. Yeah, that's Beasley's fault. Because I brought him up in the last podcast. Let's talk about everything that's Beasley's fault. Uh, no, we've, we've only got an hour or something for the podcast. <laughs> oh, I know we don't good. have enough time. Um, Sean Connery retired after... Me on Friday the what, was that, what was that really dodgy that movie? Everything is Beasley's fault. What, what was his last movie that was really dodgy? Roger Moore. Red no, 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 no. Oh, Sean, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Oh, League of Extraordinary League Gentlemen. Of, yeah. Oh, are you fucking shitting on League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? It's not no, a great. No, it's not, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, that's no, a no, masterpiece. Like, we, we, I mean, I agree. I liked it, but like, it was not his best movie. Like, he really regretted doing it. That was very yeah, sarcastic. But so did practically it. everybody else in that movie. Yeah. It just didn't click. It just didn't work. Mm. Are you trying to tell me that that movie didn't perfectly capture the invisible? Didn't can we, can we just not? <laughs> we're just not. We're not. Nah, we're talking about the the fucking dark universe, cinematic universe. See, I really, like, I, I, I really like the wife of the doctor that killed Doctor Dracula. Her chick. Ah, uh, what's her name? Uh, Helen Bonham Carter. <laughs> Uh, people's names. The only know. the only name which I can think of which is <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter. Is? No, tell me who I do and do not know. Yeah, yeah. The the first the first name which came to mind which was so wrong was just like Mara Hari. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wait a minute, that's definitely not right. Uh, She's yeah. the one that plays. I'm gonna throw a Harry Potter reference out there. <gasps> Bellatrix yeah. Lestrange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's Helena Bonham Carter. Mm. I do know Helena Helena Bottom Carter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. moving on. <laughs> Why does she use her middle name? <laughs> I don't, it's just, is it a double last name? I think so. I think I, I, name. Name. I think oh, it's Hel- I think it's Helena, and then so it's it's Bonham. See, it's, 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 see, I I can't Carter. do it unless I say it. As well. What? Helena Bonham Carter. But if you break it down, it just doesn't. Bonham doesn't sound like a last name. <laughs> Bonham. Oh, bon- Bonham. Say it like Bonham. 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 I thought you said Bonham. Bonham? It's Bonham. Bonham. Pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Bonham. Oh. No, you don't pronounce the H. Like, you don't pronounce... Bonham. Bonham. <laughs> because... Say it like it's uh, is it, no, is it, is it, is it... That is her middle name. Is it, B, is it B-O-H-A-M? Oh, the family name oh, is... Bonham Carter, but it doesn't say she has a middle name on this Wikipedia article. She doesn't have a middle name. Bonham Carter is like the hyphenated tape. But it's, but it's not hyphenated there. Yeah, but you're looking thing. at Wikipedia. Exactly. Wikipedia exactly. is a valid source of information. Thank you very much. Pretty, pretty much. much. Fine then, I'll go on IMDB. <laughs> See, she, she's, she's married to Tim Burton. Well, aren't they or are they divorced, they divorced now? now? I don't know. Tim Burton. Let me have a look. Why Google. are we Googling this shit? Okay, I don't know why bro. we're Googling it. Well, we know. need to be correct because fucking somebody said that Doomfist was fucking confirmed... Like five podcasts ago, and we're horribly wrong. 
when was that a thing? It was me. Five uh, podcasts <laughs> ago. <laughs> Look, when, when, I, when I say people, own faults. when I mention people, they die. So it's better than bloody Terry Crews. I, <laughs> I didn't say his name. I haven't said his name. Whose name? Yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they split. Who knows? Yeah, they they split. They announced the split in who 2014. And who knows, and not to be rude, but who cares? Well, exactly. The, the, only re- the only reason I brought it up is that every movie he's directed has had her in it. And Favoritism! No, not every movie. <laughs> but the, the, the a bulk of pretty, them. Like, the, yeah, he, seems, he seems to pick the same people for all the movies. He's like Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Yeah. And Joss Whedon. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all have good taste. And whoever Adam Sandler owns. Himself. Yeah. <laughs> he directs his own movies. Adam Sandler's like, hmm, who's the perfect actor for the... <laughs> Who oh <laughs> 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 will place the most handsomest count in all the land? <laughs> <laughs> will you do it, sir? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this has taken the best turn of all. <laughs> Didn't Tim Burton direct the first? Mm. No, any Snickers? No. That doesn't ring a bell. Did he? I don't remember who did the. Oh, uh, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Now you've said that. <laughs> In other news. Oh, yeah. If only I had other news to report. I was going to say, <laughs> well, yeah, the suspense is killing me. Uh, Brad Silberling. Oh, well, that's not Tim Burton. Okay, I was wrong. I'm all happily admit that. <laughs> it's not just a bit of bounce. <laughs> You're like, you know, everything soft to throw. I always see his curtains, but I can't pick him up. Mm-hmm. No one can. <laughs> so, Surprising because you're a catch. I don't know. That was supposed to be a thing. Uh, it was pretty good. Continuing onwards. But uh, yeah, Dark Universe is making a comeback with all these new hit new movies coming out. Dark Universe? The Dark Universe with like The Mummy and Invisible Man and fucking oh, Van Helsing and shit. They're all getting rebooted. They're calling it, wait for this, The Dooku. Is that an actual official yeah, thing it is, they're calling it's it the being Dooku? referred to as the Dooku? Oh my god. That so is even basically, better. Dark Step Universe Cinematic, cinematic Universe. universe. So, oh, so they're bringing back all these like old movies. Yeah, like it's Frankenstein, I don't, Monster, like, is and. The Godzilla and King Kong. No, 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 no. Because no, I know that they're connected in the same universe because Skull yeah. Island references. Oh, well, I, I don't yeah. think they are. I think it's like. So they've just. The, obviously, the Mummy movie that's just gone out is like the beginning of it. And then they've got like. The Invisible so Man. Wait, so wait, they're all in the same universe. Is that the thing? That's yeah. the thing. They can't. They're and then, to then, we're, then we're gonna get. DC, we're we? gonna get another League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie. It'll be fantastic, and they'll bring Sean Connery back, and it'll be a phenomenal. I mean, I like League of. Yes, because so. getting Sean Connery out of retirement is going to be u- using the movie that he retired on to get him out of. Uh, what is it? Come back. Oh, I gotta fix the problem. Well, you know? saw the end of the movie. What if he like? It's Spoilers! A... <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, re- they're remakes. <laughs> like, no. if, okay, if anyone's watching this and they haven't seen Lee of Extraordinary Gentlemen, they probably didn't what, want to in did, the first place. that come out? Like? 2000 and... I would really like to see Dracula redone. Well, they, they mm. keep doing... Wasn't there like a recent Dracula one? Like yeah, Dracula that was... Dracula Reborn or something? No, Dracula, was, see, was Dracula with uh, Mossy's face. What like. they've got to start realising is that a lot of these things don't need a cinematic universe. Um, I just don't get that. It's, they're all, I know why they're doing it. They're all trying to capitalise on the Marvel, you know, genius yeah. that they've been doing. But well, they were always based in the same universe. That was the thing. Like, exactly. They're trying to... The, the, the latest I heard is there's a rumour going around that the, the uh, James Bond producers are thinking about it. It's like, it doesn't need one. They're oh. standalone. Wait for what? Oh. Yeah, the James Bond producers are thinking about putting together a Bond universe... But what else do they do that's relative so, wait, to Wait, what, what do you mean? Because, like, obviously there's sequels and shit. Like, yeah, but it's like... I don't know if they're thinking about doing, like, side stories to other characters that have been... They're going to add Sean Connery to it and they'll make him invisible. <laughs> but it's, it's, look, it's, it's simply... It's a rumour. And I, there's, but there, there's some serious thoughts put into it. It's like... It's just not necessary. Once a student at Oxford, Hugh now takes the stage. 2003 was when League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Wow. Jesus. So that movie's 14 years old. I also saw something about a TV series when I was trying to Google it, so I'm going to have a look. There's a TV series? 
Well, well, maybe they were thinking of making one. You know, you are aware that those things. Okay, in 2015. Really <laughs> that's why I'm hoping she goes for it. Okay, never mind. The no, pilot. She's just chewing it. So Fox tried creating oh. a TV series. She's taken it yeah. away. Fox tried creating a, a series. I um, think she's worked out. It tastes bad. But the pilot did awfully, so it's never happening. Because um, they fucked up. Oh, that's another one. What about the fucking Planet of the Apes reboot? And everything's getting a room. Apparently, um, the most recent movies got good scores. Planet yeah, the, the last two weren't like the awfully received though. Like they were still, well, they wouldn't made a third one until the first. They didn't do half decent. So yeah, I like them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't actually say I've seen any of them. So there's too many movies getting remakes. Nah. Would you fine. like to see some original movies? I would. All right, all right. I don't have a problem with a remake person. Then like, give yeah, well, the, ha- I'll write how a many, book and hopefully I'll sell the movie. Right. How many <laughs> how many remakes can you name that have done any good compared to the original? But how many movies are you gonna go see that isn't based off a property you already like? Yeah, but that, that's a, there's a difference between a remake and say the next chapter in something. A lot of these remakes are basically oh we, we'll pick a movie and we'll just redo it I mean, and uh, slightly change it so it's slightly man, different I can't just, uh, sorry you're sorry. I was just going to say at least they're like remaking things which are like okay like, like obviously Spider-Man's coming to you but like that's, oh, like, that's, but, like, that's but just that makes so I wasn't listening what remake are we talking about we're just talking about any in any, general any like general. there's just lots of them I was just going to say like a lot of them are from like really old stuff so it's like it's about time that maybe they did it like I'm not saying they have to do it but like you know a lot of the yeah. properties they are remaking at this point are pretty like up in the air what remakes? <laughs> I can't think of any examples. Godzilla. Well, yeah, Godzilla well, Planet of the Apes is a remake. It's Planet of the Apes is a remake. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the third remake. Does it? Planet of the Apes is the third remake because they, they did a remake in early 2000s which flopped. Was yeah. it a remake? Yeah, it was a remake. Well, King Kong. Did it have anything related to the original Planet of the Apes movies? Well, like the, the, first rem- the first the first, the first, <laughs> first sorry. The first Planet of the Apes <laughs> the first Planet of the Apes remake movie that came out early to like mid two thousands. Yeah, it wasn't that was about actually, a planet that, of apes, was it? It was Earth with the apes. Yeah, but like... that was the original Planet of the Apes anyway. Yeah, but that, that was, was like a... supposed to be like the, the was it Dawn yeah, of have you, the Apes? Have you ever watched the Planet of the Apes, the original? No. Do you know so, the, yeah, that, that, of the original Planet of the Apes? That there's a planet with apes on it? No, I really have no, no interest in seeing those movies. No, it's, actually, it's, actually, it's actually Earth. Sorry, spoilers. If anyone's not seen it. Spoilers! It's actually, <laughs> no, it's actually, but it's actually Earth that they're on. They've gone back in time. That was the whole thing. They went through a portal that took well, them that, into the future. Well, the first one doesn't do that. The first one does. No, of the new movie. Oh, the new movie. They've done it the opposite. Because what they did in the original movie is they did it where you, they went back in time. Like, sorry. Because went forward in time. And then they went back in time to show what, how the Planet of Apes happened. And right, now, okay. this time because there the are opposite. so many remakes where they change so much that I barely even call it a remake anyway. I've only seen the first of the new movies. I never saw. No, I know. I, so I never saw Rise of the Planet of the Apes or whatever it was. The called. first one's called Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, so it's like mm. that. Like I was like going back to the spoiler. It's thing. Dawn, then I'm Rise, pretty, and then it's now. Yeah, because Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is supposed to be like, hey, this is how the Planet of the Apes started. Like it pretty much just spoils the fact that fucking yeah, Planet of the Apes is. Because that's supposed to be like that's like the Planet of the Apes thing where like they discover it's Earth is supposed to be like that like Star Wars Darth Vader fucking Luke Skywalker fucking discovery yeah, at the end where it's like the Statue of Liberty like damn it damn it all the heck I thought you, you were ta- blew I, it up I honestly thought you were talking about Darth Vader for a minute and I was like wait a minute did I miss the part I probably of Star Wars? got every line in that wrong but yeah he does say damn it all the heck when he sees it and it's like he realizes that he is on Earth. The entire time it's yeah like, like it's it's supposed to be some big fucking revelation or whatever so but yeah um yeah there's lots of remakes here planet of the apes like godzilla's a remake obviously king kong's a massive remake um, yeah but they even even in going into things like they tried to remake friday the 13th they tried to remake yeah American. friday the 13th was definitely a remake but that was made by the same guy who made the original anyway yeah um nightmare on elm street i re- tried to redo i understand well. what manny's saying he's saying that sometimes like They've just taken. It's more like based on rather than remade. Yeah, like they're just rebooting it and making a new one, and they're calling it. Uh, All right, it's something um, that people are recognizing, and then they'll. But from from what I know of Friday the Thirteenth, I don't think it is. I think he was just wanting to remake the movie, but I don't remember. I've not seen it. I just read about it. Ah, if you guys could remake anything, like there's like think of it just for a minute, like any movie that's like you think there's been enough time to have a remake, like what would you make a remake of, like? You keep same directors, you keep ch- same actors, I don't give a shit. 
I just want to know. Like, it's um, Blade Runner is another one. Like, that's not even a remake. It's just a massive sequel. Like, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Is that what it's called? I've not seen the original. The original was a very good movie. That's what I hear. What did I remake? Aragon. Huh? Aragon. Oh, Aragon. <laughs> 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 so I like Aragon. That movie. And I was like, <laughs> but the movie was all right. I thought it was alright I didn't know what everyone was talking about and then I read the book and I was like holy shit the book the movie was shit in comparison to the book because <laughs> yeah. it was meant to have a like it was meant to set up a bunch of sequels but yeah it was so, but but like, they like skipped, hey uh, let's just they, uh, they, fuck s- they skipped like three massive important parts of the entire book just like which would make no like towards the end I'm just like who the fuck's this guy and what the fuck's this guy doing and who's this and it's like it's explained in the book but like it's not explained in the movie so you're just like confused yeah. Time. Yeah, that comparison never bothers me. I, ha- I have no, I don't care at all if a movie is like just cuts. Like if I thought that, I would dislike the series. Unfortunate Events movie, oh. Oh. which uses like mere pages from each of the books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, yeah. That, so that's like that, that goes down to comparing books and the movies. And like, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, obviously, you can never make a movie as good as the book's gonna be. Like, so. Or well, you can make a the movie closest is like the, the Lord of the Rings. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I always but they're Harry also Potter's very long. As well, but they're Harry Potter's like, pretty close for the, the first few. Much. Like once you get to like four or five, like the those because each Harry Potter book gets thicker and thicker and thicker, yeah. and they still want to keep the movies movie length, so they start cutting more and more and more out. Yeah, it's like until the last movie they split in half, which was a good idea. Being limited by things like that, it's just like it sucks because it's like my one of my favorite books of all time is like Percy Jackson books. They're fucking brilliant. But they got absolutely destroyed by the movie adaptations. So. Mm. It's all done. So I mean, I haven't even seen second. the second one, but everyone tells me not to, and I really just don't want to hurt myself again. So. <laughs> 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 I think of it as like a bad ex girlfriend that you just don't want back in your life. That's pretty much how I'd, I want, I'd look at that sequel. It's like, mm, you know, I could go back, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> well, I love the Constantine movie, and so many Constantine fans Constantine really dislike that. See, that was a cool movie. Uh, like, oh, I love that movie. That's another thing as well. Like, <laughs> When you compare it, like, when there's a book which goes to a movie, and then when there's a comic which goes to a movie, like, I mean, I'm, I'm a big comic man myself, but, like, comic nerds get real fucking angry. Well, like, apparently the Eye Zombie show is nothing like the yeah, the comic. But the Eye Zombie show It is just also uses the same brilliant. premise. Like, yeah, the basic. That's, that's fine, yeah. though. Like, they, 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 they basically, again, it's not a rem- it's not like, um, it's an adaptation. Yeah. yeah. Also, the reason why they call it that is because it's like, yes, it's not going to be anything like It also depends on, on, I suppose, the age of a book to turn it into a movie. I mean, like, perfect example from, from my perspective is the, is the James Bond series. Can, like, the stuff that was in the original books yeah. just would not fly these days. No, because it was like, very, when, when very, they, very, when, very chauvinistic. Well, when they, yeah, but not even that. When because they, cars can't play it? When, when, they, when they did Moonraker... Yeah. But see, Moonraker came out around the time of the first Star Wars. They yeah. were trying to, they changed their whole uh, like sequence of movies they planned because they wanted to capitalize on on Star Wars. And it was like, but the original book was like this big thing about launching a rocket for the first time. But you couldn't do that around the time of Moonraker because they'd been and gone. Everything had happened. They'd been to the moon and God knows what else. It would have been the dullest thing ever. I mean, they've gone to the moon. <sighs> to the moon. Right? <laughs> well, the main example that comes to my mind is like Goldeneye. And then when they remade the when they made the game, and they got the writer to just like update that story so it made sense. Yeah, for, like, because the year it came part out. of Goldeneye, the movie, like the Pierce Brosnan movie, was set like Cold War times, yeah. which is not a thing when the Goldeneye Reloaded game came out. Like it's just not. Mm-hmm. So it was out even that shorter period of time, you know, 15, 20 years or whatever it was at that stage, is just ludicrous amount of times. A time for that to change mm. so it's like yeah it's, it's 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 i guess that's where you know even books like um harry potter things like lord of the rings all of those they're all right because of the what the the mystical side or yeah, the you fantasy. know the, the fantasy side yeah. well, the i think a lot of things people don't notice is that weren't don't the harry potter books start in like the 80s or something yeah. much earlier than everybody thinks they do yeah but they reference so little about real life that yeah, nobody they, really picks it up yeah, yeah. like the closest they really get like obviously is when he's in the real world and it's like the main ones where i was ever like oh right i forget that they're like connected worlds is like when he's near the train station with like he's had a coffee and then that girl walks up to him or whatever in the uh in the movie and then also the when they're like in the bus like the night bus yeah they're like the two scenes which i'm like all oh, right this is actually like real time yeah, yeah. like 
every every other time you're like, oh, it's wizards. <laughs> wizards, Harry. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, the one I said I would have liked to remade is, I guess, even though I love the movie, I would have said series of unfortunate events, but now that is being remade so as a Netflix series and it's it's brilliant. Yeah, and which is another, again, it's another d- divided opinion. Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's a surprising amount of people which do not like that. And it's, the Netflix series, yeah. yeah. There's some people out there who are like, the books are better, and it's like, okay. Well, the main thing is like, they, a lot of people say, oh, the Netflix series is really childish, I guess. I'm like, but the books are aimed at children. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be a dark series for kids. <laughs> it's and a- like, it's even like, like the entire, like with not, like Patrick Warburton playing Lemony Snicket, through his entire narration of that like TV series, he's like, he's not speaking like narration to an adult. He's saying it to like a young adult, a teenager, a child who's like, this is going to be scary for kids. Like, you know, it's not going to be nice. I think the main thing is, people that read the books when they were younger are now adults hoping that the show would be aimed at them but yeah. like if they went back that week and read the book they'd be like oh yeah these kind of are kids books yeah, I, was about, I, was about, I was about to say because it's that mentality they've read the books but they've not read them in a while yeah they remember the feelings they, out exactly of the kid. they remember kid, that like, but... this is going to have the same experience i mean now it's like but you're an adult now the things that you would have found scary and exciting back then don't apply even <laughs> the like... style that the book's written in is a way that it makes fun of itself, I guess, but it is specifically written that way so that everything's explained to you. Mm, And I like it because they tie that into, like, the the way the book's written that makes sense in the narrative of the book. It's not like the book is straight up just going, hey, this is what we mean, this is what we mean, this is what we mean. But because the book is written in that sort of style, it makes sense and it's kind of exactly. endearing when and it does they, it. They but bring that narrative back like in the TV series. Which ex- I yeah, agree which with. is probably a thing, something people don't like. But so That's another thing where you were saying like, oh yeah, you go back and watch it. Like, I remember reading the books and I watched the movie and I was like, the movie's really good. And I love that movie. But like when I was watching the TV series, I was like, oh, they've done so much closer to the books and everything like that. And then like when we finally got up to segments where it was the mill, what was it, the misery mill? Uh, the miserable milk. That a sound? Miserable milk. Yeah, the miserable milk. Mm. That was like, ah, oh, this is like the only like the, oh, I haven't seen this yet. This hasn't been adapted to film. Yeah, that. Was and nice I was like, that, that was just like for me. I was like, ah, oh, this is so exciting because always when I watch the movies, that was when I read the books, and I was like, oh man, I just want to see more of this. But they've just wrapped it up so closely, and now. It's well, like, and you spend the first six episodes just comparing it to what the movie did. Exactly. Episodes seven and eight. That's uh, where it like it's it, the first time you're seeing it adapted to the screen, and exactly. you have nothing to compare it to. So. And I'm I'm just like really fucking hoping that this takes off because like I'm waiting for I think it's. Because have you read all the books? No, I'm up to the hospital one. Yeah. So I'm pretty close. Because I know I that think. like the last book, like I remember in one of the books, it was just like he was saying something about it being so dark that he just like rubbed out, like he just drew yeah. black lines over all the pages. And I'm hoping that that somehow just gets like adapted like into the, like in this using cinematography for the TV series. I think it'll be brilliant. Well, I think the main thing for the show was that people quit it too early. Mm. I because th- it took me a few episodes to get into it. Yeah, like to big expectations of comparing it to something else just put so many people off. Like, mm. Yeah, but no, by the end of that's it, I was why really yeah. happy and the extra storyline they weave through it to make it interesting for people who already know what's going to happen. Yeah, that like is really it. cool, and the payoff at the end of season one with that is awesome. And that's what makes me want people to finish it. Wasn't the screenplay written by the same guy who wrote the books as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, I can't see why people are complaining when it's like, it's literally built by the person who wrote, like, you're comparing it to the books and saying it's shit. You're saying that the art, like, the (laughs) author and all the other books are crap, basically. Uh, Not not quite. Again, but people generally will say it's shit because there's some people out there who are just generally a case of, like, the books will never be beefed. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with that. It's just like yeah, I, no, yeah, exactly. I think the, the main thing for this specifically is expectation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For that, but it's also for the fact that some people have just got this kind of like mentality of, I guess, elitism. Yeah. In terms of yeah. like, I have read the books and the book, you know that. that yeah, Game but, uh, of Thrones see, is the seeing, big one see for that. people who go off and go, yeah, I like it's an entire like, a mentality of like, oh, I like you know. But they people, unfortunate events because I've seen the movies and them going, oh, I've read the books. The yeah, books but pe- are people much better. People oh, annoy me with that in general. Is that you should like if you read a book and you watch a movie or or, or a TV show, whatever it is, 
they're two very different forms of media. Yeah. Like what you can put into a book, you cannot sometimes represent on, screen, on screen, and what you can put on screen doesn't translate to a book. book well, yeah. So you know, I always try to approach and go right. I know the basic premise behind, say, the film. Yeah. That's all I need to go in with the expectations. But people do go in with these unrealistic expectations of it being word for word like a book or whatever. Yeah. And it's no, not always I, the case. I, 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 I totally know that from that because like a lot of things I can tell I usually involve fight scenes and it tends to be a case of on a screen you have like five minutes worth of fighting and then it's like in a book you'll have they had a fight. And it's yeah. a single sentence. But it's even, even something <laughs> as simple as <laughs> recently, recently um, the big, big one was from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 with the character of Mantis. The character of Mantis in the film is completely different to the character of Mantis in the comics. Yeah. And pe- people were losing their minds, including the creator of the Mantis but character. But then the comics are also... The movies in general, like, all those characters are so different than the way they are yeah, in the yeah, comics. Because, like, but there's so Drax many different... And Gamora are, like, it's the James same Gunn's, yeah. like... It's just James Gunn, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like, his style of movie and how he adapted all those characters, and they're all exactly. pretty different like, from yeah. the comics. And that's the thing. And the thing as well with that is it's like when directors or screenwriters and stuff like hold something so close like James Gunn absolutely fucking love it's like Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool that's probably the best example like he fucking loves Deadpool mm. he holds that character like it's basically himself God knows and like when you involve somebody who like has that passion for something in something like that then it's like you know it, it, it creates well. like yeah. well, that's why I haven't played like the Telltale series yeah because it's just weirdly trying to find this balance between the movies and the comics and yeah. it's just like it doesn't sit right with me yeah I've, I've, like, i actually haven't got around to playing it yet and i love telltale games but it's like, i really want to get around to doing it yeah but it's like, and that is another thing as well it's because like obviously like i don't want to say that the guys and guys are perfect but they're pretty close to being like they're very well done they're like definitely high up there in the marvel movies at least yeah 100 percent. like even yeah, superhero movies the, general, other, the other thing is like i suppose that would be one of the hardest things to adapt is any form of comic especially something like marvel look how many different versions of the marvel characters there are you so you have to pick one of them but the yeah, nice thing about that. that is i think people are used to constantly being introduced to a different versions of that character See, so, the, so yeah that, that's, that's the, the flip side of it yeah. that's the one thing which really just annoys me between like because Marvel and DC are very different when it comes to their reboots and their writing comics. Yeah. Pretty much like how DC do it is like every three to five years, they're like, hey, let's just start from scratch, yeah, reboot from everything, scratch, yeah. keep some info which people already know, throw it in there and then just rewrite everything. Yeah. And just say that it's like, and not like the new 52 and like rebirth and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Whereas Marvel, they're like, they get to a point where they just can't do anything anymore. Time and they're like, ah, oh, <laughs> well, we've already built these characters up. Instead of like, you know, continuing with it, let's just go back and change things in time. So all these things still did happen, but if you keep reading the comics and you don't know what comic to read, you're just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Mm. I mean, from the outside, that's the case for both of them. Yeah. Both Marvel and DC are like, I don't know where to start, I don't know where to end, so frank, quite frankly, I don't care. That's one thing where it's just like, <laughs> I, I can understand that. I but agree. Also like, <laughs> with, with DC especially, like when they came to New 52, like you could start from number ones in New, New 52 yeah, it was completely different and story. not worry. Completely like you could story. start from scratch it would be some little references you wouldn't pick up on which yeah but even fine. even then if you if you were coming in oh, i'm going to start reading the comics i where would you start depends on well, what depends on what you want to like that's, if you want to, that's, that's the point well, no, that, i think that is the point no actually. it's not the point because you read comics we don't i don't read we don't comics. read so if, comics. I, if you said to me <laughs> i want I, well, without, well, okay. <laughs> without giving without giving like any if i went to you i'm going to read a, 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 a marvel comic if you weren't sitting there going, read this one, I would look at it and go, where the fuck do I start? Well, that's the thing. Same though. with DC. They're both, it's like, whether you say start of the series or not, there's that many different series of it. Like, wait, wait. I think, I think, I know the point you're trying to make, but you're also making the point where it's like, okay, if I want to read DC comics, it's like, okay, so you just don't know anything about DC? You don't know what superhero you want to fucking read a comic of? Okay. You want to read a Batman comic? Get Batman number one. That's all I'm fucking trying to say. Yeah, no, we're, we're fine. Wait, how many yeah, versions sure. of Batman number one are there? It there's does... one version. That's no, what there, I'm no, there no, isn't. No, 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 DC's no, no, guys, New 52. Guys, 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 I've got the perfect solution. You want to know how I choose to pick a comic book? It's got a nice cover. <laughs> but you, you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, like, they tell you not to judge a book like, by its cover. Fuck that, you judge I'm, I'm it like hard. A, I'm like a series of books, for example. A series of books is really easy to understand because you'll go, all right, it's volumes one to eight. Then you keep saying, all right, they start with 52 or whatever the fuck you were talking about. That's just the it's yeah, whatever. It's like me as an outsider, I could not walk into a comic store and go, I, un- yeah, the I understand what the new 52 is. Like, 
No, it's like, that's the, the point I'm trying to make is like with DC, what it is is how they built their comics. Is if you pick a number one off the shelf, it will start from that point. Yeah. You don't have to read anything before. That's what I'm saying. The point that I'm making is if with Marvel, you can pick up number one of Spider Man, and then he's had his brain transfer between him and fucking Doctor Rock four times, and he's got a wife who's a midget. Like I'm not even <laughs> exaggerating. Fact. That. <laughs> True fact. But the, the Marvel movies are all like they just meant to be shorter, like standalone stories, and quite often they're not even being written by the same writer. Which is like. And that, that's why that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not trying to say that, like, yeah, they're perfect at writing comics and everything starts from scratch every time. I, might, I may have, like, said it in that way. But what I'm trying to say is, like, they've continued things that much where it's like you can pick up a one-off and the one-off's going to be referencing 40 other things you haven't read and it's not going to make sense. Whereas, like, because DC do everything, like, in such an algorithm that it's like if they start a chunk, you, everything stays in New 52. Everything stays in Rebirth. Everything stays in fucking classic Batman comics. That's yeah, but- what I'm trying to say. You, you're saying New 52 like it's this tiny little thing. And well, it's huge. Like if I pick a one of something, they're still going to reference things and other things that I'm not going into understand. Oh, I get what, I I get what, Matt, I, I get, I get yeah. what Matt's saying. I understand what he's saying now. Yeah, he's right. He's, um, like, and New 52's been wanted, going on for so long that If you wanted to that, start in a specific universe, forget the universe, if you want to start in a specific universe, you're thinking, where does it all begin? Because usually it starts with like one comic they started off with and then it just kind of builds kinda. the world and branches, from that. branches, out, branches from out. out so where yeah, you, you find Batman's that and Superman's and stuff like that so where you start or how do you or, uh, uh, mean, that sort both, of like, both of them are stuffed I'm not I'm not sitting here going I'm not DC yeah. bashing you no, while no, I'm no, trying no, to defend I, I Marvel that, like, both groups suck as <laughs> far as like yes yes they do they suck big because time. even like if we're going to go back to talking about you know the films even in the Marvel cinematic universe I didn't watch right from the beginning of that. I was able to just pick up a point and then go, yeah, I still understand to what degree yeah. is going on. Like, Yeah, like you can start with the Avengers and not have to have watched every Marvel movie no, that came yeah. before the I still, Avengers. I, I, I still have not watched the first Iron Man. Such a good movie. Like, I just haven't. That was, like, I started, that was like the first... Wasn't that the first like critically acclaimed Marvel movie? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, started, I started that... at Avengers. Yeah. Like, exactly like Matt just explained, I started at Avengers and I don't feel like... I didn't understand what the fuck was going on. Well, that was a good starting point. And well, the nice thing about those movies is it doesn't feel the need to explain everything, but no. it kind of yeah. settles it in. Like, for example, anyway. I could watch... I Unlike watched... Suicide Squad, where it spends a big chunk of time explaining I, all these I backstory watched... characters. I watched... Oh, um, Suicide Squad. No, shut up. I don't, watched... they, don't do, they don't even do that in the Suicide Squad comic books. I watched Doctor Strange, for example, and there's little references to different other Marvel films and characters and that, but it didn't feel like I needed to know who those people were yeah. to enjoy the, the narrative of that movie. Hmm. So they're standalone in that fact. Yeah. But you watch the whole lot as a, as a, it doesn't even have to be in a chronological order yeah. and you do get a bigger picture, but you yeah. don't feel like it's a necessity. Then, it, then again, like, obviously it's, like it is a lot easier to just jump in straight in when it comes to the Marvel movies and stuff like that. But like, well, is when there you're going a to DC cinematic universe, I don't want to talk about it. Is but, there though? And is it? Does it count live they've action begun, and animated? Begun, begun to do it. Animated doesn't count. See, so the way that animated works is the, the DC animated movies. And do they tie into the comics? No, no. They so don't they're standalone. The but they don't, <laughs> the, the thing is, like, so will know, I go into an animated DC movie knowing what I'm meant to know, or will I just be confused? The, n- Not knowing anything about those characters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it depends which oh. one it is. Which it sucks because, like, that's that's one thing where it's like. The an- the animated DC movies are brilliant, and if you watch the com- like you read the comics, they're fucking ten times better. But they're still cool movies. There's ones where it's like you're not gonna. The thing is with animated movies, how they've made it is it's like okay, here's your Justice League movie. Yeah, that's a Justice League movie. You can watch it, like no fuck all about Justice yeah, League. Yeah. Be like, this is a cool movie. But then it's like here's fucking de- fucking Batman and Robin, fucking and Robin Death of Sun or whatever the fuck it is. I can't remember what it's called. But it's like, that's where it's like, okay, you need to know that this is this, this is this, this is this, and then you can enjoy it. They yeah. still go over those things. Which version of Batman and... Yeah, and exactly. The, 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 the best example I can say where it's like they did a movie, Awesome Justice, but they also fucked it at the same time, is Killing Joke. So the Killing Joke wow, is like... you're a minority there. I think I've heard just as many people like. No, I think it's about fifty fifty. I hear no. just as many people like that movie. It is, is not. Half of it. Wait, were you saying you liked it? 
Yeah, so no, that's, that, this is the point I'm making. Though. Because forever I heard people saying they liked that movie and it was only a little bit on... I started to hear so people Killing saying Joke is like... Okay, so The Killing Joke is like... It's a standalone comic. It was written by a fucking... Some guy... Yeah, it was, like, it was a third party. Like, it wasn't a main Batman yeah, writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Socially and pretty much account. what it was, it, it was just like... It was an origin story of Batgirl going into... Or, like, turning to Oracle, basically, and just explaining, like, actually giving the Joker an origin story. Yeah. Which was the second half of that animated movie. Mm-hmm. What they did with that movie is for the first half of it, they're like, hey, we need to give people backstory so they understand who Batgirl is. And then they're just like, hey, you know all that fucking cool Batman lore and stuff like that? Which the, the animated fans who actually care about this comic are like, going to give a shit about? Let's just take it and shit on it. <laughs> like, they just, they just yeah. took a character and just like twisted they, it around they so that people... Her. Yeah, and perhaps they twisted it around in a way the relationship anyway, so. so that other people could understand it, but they did it so much that they just pissed off a majority that actually enjoy those characters in the comics. Whereas a lot of the other ones, like Assault and Arkham, is what, like, if you ever want to watch Suicide Squad, don't watch it and watch Assault and Arkham. It's exactly the same movie, but it's ten times better, and they'll actually, like, do the characters justice. I will watch Suicide Squad at some point. See, the redeeming factor for me with DC, not the movies, just in general is that I find that they've got much more memorable villains. I find Marvel's villains, other than Loki, the rest of them are a little bit... You forget. And it, it, they're, yeah. a bit, they're just a Dr. bit... Dr. Von Doom! Like, you I know. think <laughs> both of them are just as equal. It's Joker and Loki, and Loki I guess. But like, in yeah, saying that, when I say DC, the uh, for me, it's all the Batman villains. Yeah. They're the most common ones, because Gotham's the darkest place. Like, well, DC, you know, the Joker, Joker comics, Penguin, Two-Face. Well, it's also because it's the only interesting... Maybe. Lion of stories DC can tell. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, it's the, the, it's the they built they built Batman was the biggest. The, 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 the so thing is, like, like, like Batman is that like I would hundred percent admit like Batman's DC's cash cow. They'll be like, oh, if we can put Batman in it, we're gonna. I was going through a fucking comic store the other day. They just had comic like discount comics like trade paperback. Flicking through, and I swear that every second comic had Batman on the front. Well, well that's also. In some ways, it's their strength, and then it's their problem. Exactly. Is that I'll look at a shelf and I see all these new Batman stories. Yeah. And it's like, which one of these am I meant to read? Mm. Yeah. Which is like, that's why it's I can I can understand where the confusion is coming from. because it's not just Batman issue one. It's yeah. Batman blah 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 issue one. Batman, Batman Gotham blah, City, blah, blah, Batman issue one. Detective Comics, Batman mm-hmm. Noir, like that sort of shit. There, there is also the other thing where it's like, if you're going to go into like a like this is going to go into customer service, if you go into a store and you don't know what the fuck you're going to get. And, like, I understand that, like, some people don't like talking to people. Well, that's fine. I don't like, like, if I, if I don't have to talk to a retailer, I won't do it. But well, it's even like, just, like, outside of that, like, yeah, having a conversation and... specifically about comics, it's like, well, you're just starting a never-ending, like... Exactly. It's like, I just want to read a comic. I don't want to hear exactly. that. Exactly. Like, that's the thing. It's like, hey, it should be easy enough to just go into a store and be like, hey, I just want the first Batman comic, the one that'll make me understand things and just get me up to that and be like, okay, here you go. Have a nice day. Whereas, it's like, gonna... the thing is, it's going to be two things. They'll either be like, oh, you can start with this, 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 or this. And it's like, no, you can literally just start with that comic book and then they can leave and it'll be fine. Or they'll be like, oh, you must know all the lore. Here, I'm going to talk to you about it for 40 minutes and you're not going to understand a word that's coming out of my mouth. With armfuls of like... <laughs> exactly. If you want to understand this story, you need to read this story. And if you want to understand that story, well, you need to read this story. What, you haven't read issue one of this? Well, you're not going to understand yeah, issue one if you don't even read that. Books, like, you look at even the, from, a, from a, a film perspective, the Batman movies are, are good. Both, I, don't, I'm, I like the old ones, the, the ones... That, that was another thing I was going to say. With Batman being the DC cash cow... That's why there's so much fucking pressure on Batman being a good character because they put him in so many things. The second they've got a shitty Batman on screen, we can't make any other movies. Well, that, that, we is, that, that, that is very, very true. No, that's why they keep restarting. Exactly. Because they keep putting Batman in all their movies and if it sucks, they're like, okay, we're going to reboot. Exactly. Yeah. Let's do a new one. <laughs> like, I, I absolutely love the Christopher Nolan trilogy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's fantastic. I like the original four movies. They're okay. They're, you know, they're, they're just very, like, very, very oh. different. They get progressively oh. worse. No, they get progressively better. No, no. no. <laughs> you think you need to cool no, off? No. <laughs> you want to know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> no, it didn't. No. It is the most quoted movie no. that I will fucking use. It's just no. <laughs> but I understand, like, I know exactly what you mean. Like, like ba- Batman, the thing is, it's going to go down to, like, every comic thing ever. Like, it's hard to make good comic movies without pissing somebody off. You're either going to piss off comic yeah. fans, you're going to piss off movie fans, or you're going to piss off everybody. 
Yeah. Well, I think it feels more separate with Marvel, though. Yeah. Like, Marvel has its comics, comic fans, and they're happy with what's going on there. Yeah. You don't have the comic fans bitching about what they're doing in the movie, because they know it's separate. That doesn't happen exactly. with DC fans. Yeah. DC fans who like the comics get pissed off when oh, they're yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. I, I, can, I can 100% understand that. Like, Marvel fans know that they're separate. Yeah. Like, you do not have to read a single Marvel comic to care about the movies. The other thing no. as well is, like... I've got I've got a, I've got a friend and I won't, I won't mention his name, but he's like the way he explains it, and I don't I, it's not correct, but in some ways it is. It's like DC Comics, like a lot of people read DC Comics, like they're more of an adult, like they're written for adults, and that's why when adults go and watch them, it doesn't matter. Mm. Like as like, like like I can understand like there's obviously he's like they do make ones for younger people and stuff like that. Yeah. But then when it comes to Marvel stuff, the way that Marvel writes their comics is it's like it's not all adult orientated if that makes sense. So it's like kids will read them and then they're like, okay, yeah, we don't care what we do movies. with the movies. Yeah. Exactly. Or, so when they, or stories, I mean, they're not dark stories. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is like with Marvel, they're like they're not the people who watch the Marvel movies are going to buy Marvel comics. It's not going to be the people who watch read Marvel comics are going to watch movies. They're going to watch them anyway. Yeah. The thing with the comics is Marvel is starting to write them where it's like, okay, people are going to just start buying our comics now. We need to make them for people who don't understand a thing yeah. about comics. Whereas DC are so set in stone where they're like, we're still making comics. If we ruin these stories, our fan base is fucked because our movie base is fucking destroyed. <laughs> so like, pretty much. Let's, let's, yeah, that's pretty much how their like, angle is. They do what they, well, they do a lot of comics yeah, and made, animations. Real life movies, they suck the fuck out. I was exactly. going to say, I mean, the, the comparison you made there was Batman being their cash cow. Uh, on a lesser scale, but very much the same. It's the same with Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. They keep rebooting that because yeah, but that from a sales perspective... That's it's one not of most the Marvel movies. Universe, though. No, I know. Thing. But I'm yeah. Sorry, Marvel. But just... the other thing as well is like with Batman, it's like pretty much 95% of the time, Batman's Bruce Wayne. Whereas like with Spider-Man, what they've done now is like, there's Spider-Man, there's spectacular Spider-Man, there's amazing Spider-Man. And they're like five or six different people mm. and then they've also got spider-verse and a hundred different things so i don't mind that that's different though because to me that's just like exactly I mean, it's not and the that... same but it's kind of like james bond like you just pick one and you can follow through with that spider-man and it's all exactly like, yeah, yeah yeah just a bunch of different spider man which is why that's, that's i'm like i'm like okay you've got peter parker like, and obviously they want to reboot peter parker in this series because it's like it's been bought over by like like sony don't own them anymore it's been bought by like you know the the mcu yeah. So now he would be in there. So it's like, okay, you can reboot Peter Parker. That's fine. Because this should be the last time. Yeah, this should like it should be the last time. If they reboot Peter Parker after this, then like I'm just gonna fucking give up. Well, er- early reviews for Spider Man is good. I've seen. I've heard phenomenal things. Uh, is that out yet? No, nah, it comes out on the sixth of July. It's about trailer. a week away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't particularly like the new Spider Man, but I haven't seen the movie, so I guess I can't make a final decision exactly. yet. But I didn't like him in Civil War. Yeah. Well, I didn't dislike him. I just didn't think. He, I thought he was average. I think, yeah, I, I think, think he's the, annoying. The little thing kid. with <laughs> that's see, that's one thing which just gives me the shits about Civil War. It's because it's like, okay, Spider Man's in it, and it was cool that he was in it, but like they shouldn't have shown anything to do with that in the trailer at all. Yeah, that should have stayed. It's annoying at, that they, they should have. They should have fucking pushed that away from the trailers with like a fucking forty well, was, foot pole. Same with Batman v Superman. It just spoiling everything about <sighs> the movie. It's just like the that's the thing. Like, it's just like you have heard trailers and just with you. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. One woman just like dropping in. It's like. Okay. Mm. Trailers just give me the shits because it's like, okay, that's it should be exciting moments like when you see like this X character jump in at X point. And like you, like obviously you hear that these actors have been put on for the cast, but it's like I don't know if they're gonna have a small role, a big role. I don't know when they're gonna Actually, show up. I, re- I keep referencing James Bond. I can't help that, but a really good example of how it was done well was the reveal of Money Penny. What was that for? See, I'm not a big in Skyfall because no one knew that. Oh, yeah. yeah, no yeah, one knew yeah. she was Money Penny, and for people who love that series, it was this moment of, oh my god, like no yeah. one had picked it because Money Penny in the older movies doesn't go out on the, in the field and all this other stuff. Yeah, mm. so yeah. it was done really well. No one knew that was Money Penny. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, and that was done. Yeah, so that that's it. That's how these other movies should have done it. Was you know exactly like, that's that's what it should have been like. I mean, she that, was in the trailer, moment, but you know, like. I don't know, Civil War is still pretty recent, but it's like, obviously it's been in the trailers and everything, so perhaps like that moment where like, Spider-Man rocks up and like, steals Cap's shield, I was like, man, can you imagine how much, like, 20 times cooler that scene would have been if you, if you were just like, you if you weren't expecting it? Because it was like, you, you saw him do it, and you're like, this is going to happen when they're all fighting in the fucking parking lot, which again, I'm not going to go into again. 
But it's like that that scene would have just mm. been ten times better. The one woman scene in Batman vs Superman, was like, that was a little bit more because it wasn't a hundred percent when it was gonna rock up. Yeah, that would especially kind of ruined it. Even though I have no interest in seeing that movie, but yeah. no, but it, it was a one. At least other... Spider Man, we kind of knew. Like yeah. everyone was talking about it forever. Like Wonder Woman, I don't think people knew until she, yeah, until the trailers started airing. Yeah, and and it's just there's just so many little things which it's just like they. Yeah, they're just trying too hard to just trying to get people to... through the door exactly and it's like with Marvel at this point it's like they don't need to bother trying to get new people no. to watch the movies like they're gonna hear about it from somebody yeah like it doesn't matter if it's a friend if it's a fucking random on the street somebody is gonna walk up to you at some point in the next month and they're gonna be like hey have you seen the new Spider-Man did I you, can guarantee it did you hear the rumour that the original plans was not for Tony Stark to be like mentoring well, um, Spider Man. It was going to be. It was going to be Nick Fury. Yeah. yeah. Then, then they change it because oh my God, I could have done the, the original thing as well. Any, like, any excuse to put Samuel Jackson back in there is good. Well, the other <laughs> thing as well for the original Iron Man, like before Robert Downey Jr. got that role, Tom Cruise was approached for that role, and he said no. Can you imagine how differently? Yeah, but there was. There's, I, I, I like was. seeing stuff like that where there's that whole this person potentially could have been that character and you yeah. sit there and go well Mar- sometimes it's good and sometimes it's like oh god thank god you martin the freeman ball. like you guys know martin freeman is like guy who plays bilbo in hobbit yep he was originally there was a chance that he was going to be spider-man they were going to put him as spider-man can you fucking imagine <laughs> exactly that's something which is like you don't want to think- for someone completely the opposite <laughs> exactly and it's like which i'm glad that they did but it was like he was oh, wow. he was actually he's been thrown around for so many different roles in the Marvel universe. Like there's so many times like when movies were just in production that like I was seeing they're like oh Martin Freeman might be this character or this character. Wow. He's finally just rocked up in the new Black Panther trailer for like ten seconds and he's I don't even know what character he is at this point. That's yeah. But uh, yeah. one thing I can compliment um, Marvel on is that their casting's been superb. Like I can't name a. Ca- at- at this point, they've made enough money that they can literally just say, hey, do you want to be this character? And they'll be like, uh, if I'm an yeah, idiot, I'll say Oh, no. yeah, but the, <laughs> like, the people who are playing the characters are, are perfectly suited for the characters that they're playing. Like, it just seems to match really well. I can't think of any, I can't think of any examples where it's not. Well, Marvel are just... I think they're getting better, better and better about being picky with what they're doing these days yeah. like with their video games they're kind of just bringing things in a bit closer to them and yeah. they being know, a bit more selective about what they they're doing they know they've their hit brands. a gold mine with the MCU they know they've hit that and that's why they've got to protect it well the, the Marvel games like it, there used to be a lot of licensed Marvel games yeah. Yeah. and now they're just doing you know fewer and fewer stuff and being a lot more directly involved with the development of it, like with the Spider-Man game. That's, yeah, no, that's the Insomniac out, Spider-Man game is just looking phenomenal and like uh, awesome. That it has nothing to do really with exactly, and that's that's the way it should be. Spider-Man. It's like they shouldn't just keep trying to like it's make one thing and, and just yeah. like everything. Yeah. Like okay, you can have this as an entity, have this as an entity, have this as an entity. If, if you wanted anyway. something to intertwine, you'd go out and you'd buy like Game of Thrones the entire season collection. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think the main well, thing like though, that, where style. <laughs> they could be getting away from it, is with some of the Marvel TV shows. Yeah, yeah. Which like again, it's like you always forget. That's another thing with Agents of Shield and Daredevil are technically in the same like cinematic universe like they'll probably never cross paths yeah but it's like the fact that they're in the same universe is like well it's for, oh. for all of that like jessica jones and yeah luke cage defenders obviously is coming so out soon defenders as well. is very soon that brings those shows yeah but which those brings four pillars. that's the thing it brings those 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 dark shows together isn't that punisher so iron punisher Fist, isn't a man jessica, jessica, jessica jones and daredevil. and daredevil isn't it um, whereas obviously in Age of the Shield they've just got like the niche ones and I think they've just got Ghost Rider I think that's Bane and Gone Ghost Rider has been and Gone yeah. and obviously Coulson is the one that yeah Coulson's the, he's the, the main connection one. between oh and Nick Fury obviously Nick Fury in, yeah. like two episodes or something isn't it no he's made a couple of very brief appearance, appearances at, at, at the end of the season as well I think he's... yeah and then there are episodes in either season one or two that takes place concurrently with yeah, Captain like you can America see when things two. are happening. Yeah, exactly. You can see when things are happening. But like I've Asian not watched Cardinal, it in forever, like, so I don't is, know. Is there, is there two seasons of Asian Card now, or is there one? Two, two, two but that's been... Canned. Obviously, that's way before, yeah. like, anything even so starts going down. That works well in tying them together, because it is set, like, 
exactly. so far back that it doesn't specifically need to really yeah. exactly. And then it's just like. like this is just a topic which could legitimately go on for hours when you when you when you're adding things and intertwining them and where you should and shouldn't do it because it's like if we were going to be doing everything by a comic book or if we were going to be doing everything by one style then like can you imagine agents of shield in like a daredevil like yeah. gritty like hell's kitchen style like that would just be wrong yeah be well bad. that's why they keep most of them separate exactly but like i was when i asked about a dc cinematic universe nobody mentioned the tv shows yeah, they were obviously doing well and all connected together. Yeah, exactly. And then that—that's a whole like another can of worms. I think like, that's the one thing that DC is doing really well lately for their live action stuff I, or shows in general. I worry a little bit. I don't about, like a lot of the shows, but I they're worry, doing well and they're all linked together. I worry yeah. a little bit about the next uh, two Avengers movies, only because they I think the last count was like fifty plus different, like. I think they're main... pulling back on that. The fact that they're not two parters anymore, I don't think. Are they? They, I, well, think I think they're two separate movies now. Infinity, they're originally like, going to be one. Yeah, I think. War is, I, 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 don't, I don't know much more of that. Like, it was part one and part two of Infinity War, and I feel like they're still going to do that, but they're not going to teach it as a part one and part two. No, but they, at one stage they were talking like, oh, there's going to be 50 plus different, like, Marvel characters, like, mm. major Marvel characters in it. Yeah. Mm. It's like. Which, like, and they were throwing around names like Squirrel Girl. I think Ugh. that's more Squirrel. more so going to be... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, I'm fucking sorry. I'm just going to cut in for one minute. Uh, Squirrel Girl is the most overpowered character in the fucking universe. I know, but it's the, like... The fight scene in Civil War yeah. is basically... If that is true, is pretty much, I think, what they're referring to. And it's not going to be, we're going to concentrate on all these characters no, to concentrate on but 50. even then it's still yeah. like... I think you'll see cameos in a fight scene that's a, that's of all the these thing, random, like, like... Obviously, because... Again, because it's like I, I I know a lot of the lore, which obviously changes again between cinematic universes and comics. Yeah. But it's like Guardians and Avengers are both part of the Infinity War, and it's like the way that they're supposed to connect up in the, the movies hasn't even like started happening yet. Like nothing's yeah. even, like the closest they've got to that now is Thor Ragnarok is probably going to start leading into Guardians and all that kind yeah. of shit. But the, the, when that like starts to smell together, that's when you've got to like that's when Marvel is going to be like on edge. Because if they, like, screw up one little thing, then it's, mm. like, pretty much it's just, like, as the thing gets bigger, it's easier to fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, it's, like, once they try Ultron and... Ultron is the main link between a lot of them, isn't he? Uh, well, with the Infinity not Stones. Not Ultron, obviously. um, Vision. fucking... No, not... Thanos. Thanos. Well, yeah, Thanos, yeah. yeah. Thanos is, like, that's the main... That's the only real one which is kind of, like, been shown. Because, obviously, Infinity Stones are throughout all the movies. You know that they are all going to connect at some point, but it's, like... Yeah. Okay, like, he literally doesn't have any yet in... A two-part movie they're supposed to get like he's supposed to either i don't know if he's gonna end up getting all the infinity stones i imagine that's how they're gonna do it but like how the fuck is that gonna yeah end? but they're, they're all in fairly close proximity at this point when you think about it yeah like but then again like the entire just yeah it's just exhausting thinking about like how like good on fucking like the directors and stuff that's well, that's another one because obviously like the directors that you were saying about James Gunn before like James Gunn and then you've also got fucking who was it that did the last Avengers movie or Civil War um, um I don't know who did Civil War Joss Whedon did Avengers Joss 1 Whedon and 2 did yeah can you, can you imagine like like again directors it's like who's going to be directing this movie like, is he going to get one of them are you going to get both of them are you going to get something uh, completely they've, new they've, no they've got uh, there's two the brothers what's their name ah uh, yeah <sighs> Or Joss Whedon's on Justice League movie now. Yeah. What? Whoever? Yeah, I was gonna say whoever it is. It's the bright. They're, they're famous film pro, uh, directors, brothers, and they they've got both. They're running. They're yeah. doing both. Both Avengers movies. Yeah. They were. I think they were at one stage. They were planning on filming them concurrently, but I don't think that's happening now because I think. Well, they're I know be that. Standalone. Yeah, a lot of the stuff, like a lot of stuff's pre-filming. Like Infinity War started filming. That's actually happening now. I've seen like screenshots. I've seen. Oh, they were they were out having lunch together. It was um, Robert Downey Jr. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yep. Um, Mark Ruffalo and uh, whatever his name. Oh, is. the guy from Doctor Strange. Yeah, the guy who plays Kublai Khan in uh, Mark Polly. I can't think of his name. But anyway, I don't know what his name is. Because they're they're oh, God, that little group's got a name too in the comics. There's so many like. I don't even want to like go down that path. I want. I want to say the. Uh, aren't they called the Illuminati? Maybe. Who are you talking? I don't. About? I don't, I don't Doctor know Strange, Iron Man, Hulk. They're all part of. Eventually, the everything. An offshoot of yeah. I thought it was. I thought I read that somewhere. The magicians call you. Yeah. 
But everything yeah. everything becomes like a small group in itself. Like and they're doing the yeah. DC universe as well, and it's everything becomes exactly small like groups. that's that's another thing. Like let's be thankful at this point that X Men isn't part of the MCU because the second X Men gets part of that, then it's like, well, right. let's start rebooting everything. So that's really <laughs> <laughs> well, even in the comic books, like X Men's not really they hardly ever when have, they go into they like they hardly ever have any interaction with each other that's the thing though once it becomes Avengers and stuff like that once you start putting Wolverine and everything that's when it's just like because yeah. Wolverine's like see Iron Man Wolverine Captain America and Black Widow huh? Black Widow is also named Black Widow is another, like one of the ones which I'm thinking of but like they're those three especially oh Deadpool's another one as well they just co-align with legitimately everything. Like, you can be reading an Avengers comic and one of them's going to rock up. Yeah. You can be reading a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy comic, one of them's going to The other up. interesting thing I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to find is that some of these characters have become really iconic with the actor who plays them. And mm. what happens when that actor finally goes, I've had enough? Mm. Like yeah. Hugh Jackman. Mm. Well, exactly. Wow. And, and yeah. like, like that, for Wolverine, it's like, how many movies has he done as Wolverine? And it's like, he, he everyone's has got, now... Everyone's got used to him. Even. Um, and it's the same for even like Iron Man and even obviously Captain America. But there's ways they can re... Well, because yeah. of the I'm sure war. they've planned all that out for him. Every, like everything's been like five movies planned because chris chris like, evans has basically said he's not doing any other acting if he if he stops doing the avengers stuff or the, which again is like well he's made enough money he's comments, made enough money like, that's changed <laughs> yeah. so many things he's made enough money out of it hasn't he well he's just <laughs> yeah. like i just don't want to do anything else now you know i'm fine with what i'm doing well the yeah. nice thing like just so happens that it's worked out well is that they're all quite happy to keep doing it for the time being yeah like yeah. even though robert downey jr says oh he's probably done he's also said you know if they ask me to come back i'm probably going to keep coming back yeah yeah exactly like, he's, he not bored, he's not bored he's not bored he's really not bored of doing it and it's like the thing is like obviously they're going to have to come back at some point because they're not just going to change actors like that because if, if you can imagine just like all of a sudden you're watching a that's movie. that's when they're going to get to the point where yeah. they're all contracted in and i'm sure there's a plan out but that's that's I'm sure the they know well, 10 yeah. years in advance they like, would know what movies this that's is why this is when this per- this, so this is when this person's contract is expiring Let's plan as if that's when they're finishing, and if they extend their contract, we can then make adjustments to keep them in. And that's what they did with Chris Evans. So I said the, the, before... Because he, he finished his contract, and then he recontracted for another four or five movies. About the comics and the movies being separate, there are tons of comics that specifically tie into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Because I was looking at the Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, like, but... there's... Like, they bring out for every single movie, I've seen a prologue comic, which is, like, written and drawn, like... In the style yeah. of that movie, yeah, like, it's the set. It's the, yeah, it's the it's the they do like a setup situation before the movie. Yeah, but they're yeah. all nice that they're all just like one offs almost all of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which so, is so yeah, they do a prequel for one of the most recent ones. Uh, yeah, there's a oh, they're all and they're all named really well as well. They're all just preludes. Yeah, so one for Thor, Ragnarok, Spider Man, Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy Two, there's Doctor an Strange, prelude, yeah. um, Civil War, Jessica Jones. I like Ant Man. <laughs> so that that that's, Man, yeah. that's another one. That, that was one of the weird ones. Like with with um, getting a right actor to do the right job. It was like now the thing is like if you get the, the actor to do the job, it's like are they, are they gonna play the character or are they gonna act themselves playing that character? Yeah, that's one like big thing where it's like that's where controversy starts to come in when it comes to like adaptation. Have yeah. you seen anything on the Marvels in Humans series? Yes, I've seen the first few like posters and stuff that have come out, and some screenshots here and there. Apparently, it's pretty rough. Like that could be the first show that just like just flops. Yeah, because mm-hmm. apparently the pilot was leaked recently. Oh, okay, and oh, yeah, apparently great. it's. Uh, not well, great. the thing with Inhumans as well is like even reading in the Inhumans comics is like I don't want to be mean Marvel, but they're not that great. But even just like but- looking at the posters they've put out, and it's like, I mean, I don't know anything about it, but like. I, is that really the best they could do for like their costumes and like yeah, the sets exactly. and just like but then it's like you think of, you think of costumes and you go back to like look at Luke Cage like okay he's just a guy who wears a yellow shirt that's the closest I've got at this point <laughs> like but if you look at him in the fucking comics he's the most camp looking motherfucker I've seen in my life he really is like he's like you know deep V's that they used to wear in the yeah. 70s imagine that with a bright yellow shirt and like a headband oh, God. that like the YMCA would give a thumbs up to that's pretty much what Luke Cage is looking like in the comics. I don't know. But, you know, like, you know, they adapt to, like, modern audiences and stuff like that. Obviously, like, back in the day, like, characters were built 
for like you know they were built for that generation and then the second like the comics progressed they can't change their costume because people have been used to them but then it's like okay let's get new people into it we can't give them these shitty costumes like I don't want fucking somebody looking like a knob no, like uh, old man uh, uh, Iron Man look at the Iron Man costume man. from like <laughs> oh yeah Iron Man costume from back in the day is like here's a bucket on your head no he, oh, li- no he literally had like his suit was made of iron before they realised iron was a terrible material yeah <laughs> that's why it was called Iron Man yeah <laughs> oh, I, I just haven't watched Luke Cage just because I don't care about that character no that's just fair but uh, I mean there are so many Marvel TV shows that I like to Confused. I mean, I loved Agents of Shield, and I've only seen season one. That's the the, the big one when it comes to movies I think so I've far. Watched season two, the closest, like the, the the furthest I've got from actual costumes in the Avengers movies is Scarlet Witch. So that's probably like the, yeah. the furthest I've got at this point, like in the actual big cinematic universe. Because it's like Scarlet Witch in the movies, just wearing like nice leather, like looks good, suits her style. But it's like in the comics, she looks like a fuck, like she's got like witch clothing. She's, yeah, yeah, mm. it's. A very interesting thing. A uh, very big, long topic. We can go on I was going to say, we've, already, <laughs> we've we've spent an hour. The podcast has been very much... Been gone and done. <laughs> I was going to say, no, no, not gone and done. It's just been one big topic, but it was something that branched cool. that way. <laughs> we, ne- we never uh, moved away from it, though. So what what would... Like, is there any movies that you would remake? I mean, I know, Matty, you already mentioned Series of Unfortunate Events, which... We can go back into, but like... I mean, the only thing I can think of for that is movies I wouldn't remake, which is the Star Wars movies. Yeah. Because they just hold up so well. Yeah. It's oh. not really a problem, but there aren't many movies that hold up that well. Yeah. I mean, holding up well is obviously subjective when it comes to, like, CGI. It, it is for a lot uh, of yeah, it, but, but the nice story. thing about Star Wars, which I was saying to someone at work today, is that they used so little CGI back then that it didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. There aren't many movies that... You can you 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 allow lenience. It's like that's why people watch four, five, six, then one, two, three. Because if like watching in chronological order makes chronological order makes the most sense. Yeah. But it's also like if you go from like oh cool lightsaber fights to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then it becomes like a big thing. Like again, Star Wars. That's another big. I never thing. thought about that mainly because in the prequels they're all Jedi who have been trained by a Jedi exactly. and have had you know they've been trained since they were kids. I'm like, of course they fight like this. Yeah. Anybody that's still around for four, five, and six, yeah. never had any sort of proper training. training. I mean, like the, the, obviously, like the the only big one you can think of in that sense are Darth Vader and Obi Wan like a who rotting would... corpse in a. In a, in a shell tin can and, then... <laughs> and Obi-Wan is very old yeah. Yeah, yeah but then again then you think about a Darth Vader in Rogue One compared to 4 where it's like he's like doing fucking lightsaber tricks and screwing everybody up and then sure but even then he yeah, wasn't he wasn't Yoda bouncing off no, walls no exactly <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly yeah that, that, even that's even like good. Yoda being a puppet it makes sense for him because he's so old that he's you know just exactly. yeah, but like, another like another like puppet, like, yeah um, but see another example of like you said you're going from the prequel ones where they like bouncing around and that is is Palpatine yeah he goes from like doing his flippy friggin well, the thing, thing in the prequels when it, when it, to like little old man like ah, yeah but then, but then he like, like cripples himself beyond yeah I know pants, but so. it's like it just I yeah. mean it was nice with Rogue One that they specifically kept that um. Yeah. They they made sure the technology in Rogue One seamless, se- seamlessly <laughs> went into A New Hope. Exactly. And for, like, like the way sh- their technology the works. The transition in that world. from Rogue One to Four was just like it, yeah. well, oh, they did it. They did it brilliantly. You could you could sit there and watch Rogue One and then straight into Part Four. Like, exactly. There's no you know. But, uh, let's not spend the next hour having the Star yeah, Wars conversation right, exactly. that we did Star for Wars, the Marvel Star conversation. Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. So. Talk about all. I mean, one thing I will say actually about the Star Wars movies is at least the, the canon stuff for Star Wars is easy. Yeah. Yes, I thought Disney made a great decision with just chopping everything off. Yeah, because I'm, there was it no was I'm, starting I'm, to I'm, get I'm, I'm really 50, complicated. Like, I'm fifty fifty on like because like obviously like I'm happy because it's like you don't have to know anything anymore and like my Star Wars knowledge isn't anywhere like near as good as well. Me. A lot of people's arguments were like, oh, but I liked you know this random thing. It's like okay. You can still like that. But it it's just not doesn't part of the canon. canon. That's one it's thing. Not it's not part like, of the canon. There are a couple of things where it's like, oh, that would be really cool. And it's like, it kind of sucks because there's a chance that they'll never bring this character or never bring this aspect back into it, which is like, ah, uh, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. But at the same time, it's like, eh, you've got enough content over like two series 
of TV shit, like two different TV series plus like eight movies now. Yeah, yeah. it's like eight movies, two TV shows, and then all the comics that yep. tie yeah. in. Yeah, plus like novels other and... episodes of a TV show which is going to come and out. And we'll get surely... video games soon that will probably tie into exactly. it. Exactly, we'll have canon video games and stuff like that. Because originally, like back before they chopped it all off, like the Force Unleashed games were canon and all that stuff, and it was yeah. just like they just yeah. needed to get rid of all that. The '64 game was probably canon. <laughs> what that shadow is the empire or something i'm, I'm pretty sure, sure it was, was yeah, like, yeah so. wow. i mean like x comic written by x person over in Wolf, mm. it was fucking yeah it's yeah, terrible no, um, definitely a good idea it's good to have fan fiction but like you don't need it to always be canon no. exactly but that is definitely not canon trust me no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like if that's canon then uh, i'm gonna ask some questions to george Lucas. <laughs> because i just say that much buddy uh, <laughs> uh star wars all right um so uh, just quickly, we we put a couple of videos out since our E three run of you know. You didn't stuff. tell me what you want to remake. Well, I, I I cannot think of something honestly. There's just there's, I'm like Matt. There's lots of things I go. Don't ever remake it. Like don't ever remake it. Let's remake the Spice Girls movie. I, I, the, See, I, I have no problem with remakes <laughs> because that, that just doesn't bother me. Like that old movie is still there, and if they remake it, cool. I don't think they should remake Star Wars because those movies hold up exactly. Just fine. Yeah. There are absolutely movies I like, and I watch it now, and it's like, them remaking it would probably be a good idea. Mm. Especially if I'm showing the movie to somebody who hasn't seen it before, and it's just like, man, this movie doesn't hold up for, like, this person who doesn't yeah. have the rose-coloured glasses of, like, yeah. ignoring those things. So I think remakes are brilliant. Yeah. There are just a very small amount of things that hold up so well because of the way they were made back then that they just don't need to be remade. Yeah. And I think Star Wars taking the rose colored glasses off yeah. does hold up well yeah no, especially up. with the little touch-ups even though i don't like a lot of the little touch-ups like they do make it easier for like yeah but they're not they're not to the before. point that they're just ludicrous i mean probably the worst thing was when they changed and put anakin at the end of bloody yes yeah. so, there that, are little that's... things but at least it helps with like the when you put them all together yeah. like it helps those transitions but yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. nothing outrageous yeah. that you're like oh god um so yeah as i say a couple of videos went out uh we put out uh, part eight of Resident Evil. Yep. After the bullshit that went on with that, and then there was another one. Worms. worms. Oh yeah, worms. Worm, uh, worms is great. Worms, worms was a was great. Fun. That was so much fun. That video. Um, you got, you've got some uh, Friday the Thirteenth coming your way. We don't know how much say. is going to come, but I'm sure it'll be. Plenty There'll be something. Of oh yeah. Um, we'll and, get a few more of these bad boys in us. And I somewhere think. <laughs> I think the next part, which will be part nine for Resident Evil, is going to be it. I get the feeling that we're getting to the end of the game. Yeah, we're pretty so good, pretty so good. that should be when that eventually comes out. Um, uh, yep. So you know, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or topics or anything, you know, you like sling us a fucking yeah, give us a comment. Comment Talk to us, please be be our friends. Mm. And also uh, read comics. <laughs> Recommend just, or, just or, you know, or better yet, write your own. Just close your eyes, walk into the store, and go, yeah, that one. Would <laughs> Give us your fan fiction. We'd love to read it. Oh, I Jesus. actually would read your fan fiction. Just, just put that up. All right, let's leave okay. it at that. <laughs> About you specifically. Hey man, I'm, I'm down. His postal address is. Just <laughs> email him. Himself, like as slave layer, like choking oh, each other. <laughs> 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 Alright, on that note. <laughs> well, uh, see you next time. Gotcha. See ya. <laughs>